In this video, we're going to look at how to use Amazon Web Services, or AWS, with Backup Assist. To do this, you will need to set up an AWS account and an Identity Access Management account within AWS. To create an AWS account, go to aws.amazon.com. Free and paid account options are available and give you access to the AWS Online Console. Once you've logged into the AWS Console, you'll be able to create an Identity Access Management Account, or IAM, which is used to give access to AWS containers that your backup will use. Just select Services from the AWS Console menu, and then IAM from Security, Identity and Compliance. Then select Users and Add User. Provide a username, enable programmatic access, and select Next. The account will need access to the Power User Access Policy. The best way to do this is to create a group with this policy and then add the user to this group. Once you have created the group, select Next. Select Next through the Tag step and use the Review step to check your sections and details. Then select Create User. An IAM account will be created with an access key and secret access key. Select Download CSV to download a CSV file containing the access key ID and secret access key. This is the only time you will view the secret access key or be able to save a copy of the CSV file. We will need to refer to the CSV file when creating the backup job. You will also need to use these keys if you recover data from this job's backups using a different backup assist installation. Once you have an AWS account and the CSV file from the IAM account, you're ready to create a backup assist job and back up to AWS. To do this, open Backup Assist and from the Backup tab homepage, select Create a new backup job. Then select Cloud Backup. This will open the Cloud Wizard which will guide you through the process. The selection screen is where you select the files and folders to be backed up. Once you have selected the data, Select Next. The destination screen is where you select the cloud service provider. Select Amazon and then Next. The schedule screen allows you to choose from two backup schemes. Basic, which provides a simple incremental backup from Monday to Friday, and Grandfather, Father, Son, which includes daily, weekly, monthly, and annual backups for longer backup retention. When deciding, remember that having more store points available requires more cloud storage. Select the option that best suits your backup requirements and select Next. The Setup Destination screen is where you enter the details for your AWS storage. The first field is where you provide a name for this backup job's S3 bucket. S3 or simple storage service is what Amazon uses to store data in the cloud. A bucket is the name S3 uses for its storage containers. Enter a name that is globally unique within AWS and Backup Assist will create a bucket with that name. The Amazon S3 region field is where you select what region you want the bucket to be created in. AWS has data centers around the world so select the location that is most relevant for you. The Access Key ID and Secret Access Key fields are where you enter the security codes from the CSV file that you saved when you created the IAM account. Backup Assist will use these keys to create the bucket and access it each time the job runs. Open the CSV file and copy the keys into their respective fields.
Next is the encryption password. Backup Assist will encrypt each backup before it is transferred to AWS. This is a Backup Assist feature and means your data is secure even if your AWS cloud storage is compromised. Enter a password and confirm it in the fields provided. Record this password in a safe location because it cannot be retrieved if it is lost. You will need to enter this password if you ever restore or recover data from a backup created by this job. When you have filled in the fields, select the Check Destination button. Backup Assist will check that it can access the storage account provided. Once you have completed the page, click Next. Use the notification screen to enter recipients for the backup reports and click Next. Now you can enter a name for your backup job and click Next. The first time your backup runs will be a full backup of all data over the internet. Backups after that will be incremental and only update files that have changed since the last backup. This means your first backup will take a lot longer than the following backups. If your first backup is too large to transfer over the internet, you can seed your data. Seeding is an optional process that involves manually sending your data to the cloud provider on a removable drive so your provider can directly seed your first backup to the cloud container. This process is followed after the backup job has been created and it can be expensive and complicated. Backup Assist provides a tool to help prepare the drive that you send to your cloud provider. This is the last step in creating a Backup Assist cloud backup job. All that's left is to select Finish and your job will run at the time set in the schedule. You can use the Run button to start the job manually if required and the Manage screen to edit this job later. To learn more about Backup Assist Cloud Backup, see our online guide and Amazon's AWS guides.